Hey RVers and future RVers, I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We have scouted out a simple way to go camping. Back to the basics with the A-Liner Scout Lite. Let's go take a peek. All right, you've been to the campground, you've seen those A-frames, and you always wondered how long does it take to set up? It just looks different, it looks weird. What if I told you I could do it in 30 seconds? Well, not today, YouTubers. We're gonna take our time and go through and tell you step-by-step step on how to do it, but if you wanna dare yourself to do it in 30 seconds, come out and check it for yourself. Let's go take a setup on this Scout Light by A-Liner and just show you how easy it truly is. Step one, you have two clips, one on either side that you are gonna release. Step two, you're gonna bring the two roof pieces up together. If the, the A-liner is equipped like this one, we have an assist bar that we can use to push up easily and engage that roof line. If it is equipped with this assist bar, it also doubles as a wind assist bar. You swing it back around the opposite side or the, the back side, get it clipped in, now if you're beach camping or camping where you're gonna have some high winds, that gives you that security to keep the two roof lines together. Again, do one on both, on both sides. Now we have the two left and right sides to get up easily. Open your door. Watch your step. We're gonna start with the door side frame. Swing that out. Line the two doors up. There is a clip here for you to make sure that those are connected together. And then behind the wall, there's gonna be on both ends is a latch that you will latch from the inside. You wanna start with the one closest to the door. Work yourself to the opposite wall. Swing that up. Engage your safety locks, again on the front and the back. And there's four all together, so that last one, we've done three already, we do the last one in the back. Easy as that. A-Liner Scout Light. let's scout out some of those features on the outside that you may like. Starting up front on the door side, we have an amber porch light. Amber, that way it keeps away some of them bugs. But hey, if the sun's setting, especially come fall time or early spring, you're out camping, give you some light at your patio side. This unit is equipped with an air conditioner. You will need electric at your campsite, but this is a good old window 5000 BTU AC that is good for say like a 10 by 12 room. Well, guess what? This is a little bit smaller than that size. So what do you think? Is it gonna cool you out of here? I think so. Moving beyond that, you've got your camping gear, right? Maybe some leveling blocks or uh, some uh, camp, uh, campfire uh, accessories. We have storage that goes underneath one of the booth seats to give you a nice wide big uh, cavity to throw some of that gear in there. Moving with me to the back, it is accessorized with a spare tire that matches the camper's tires that are already on there. Black um, rims with a nice uh, ST tire, it's a special trailer tire, if you will, to be able to handle those emergency situations and get you up and going again real quick. And last but not least, on the off door side, or what we like to call our hookup side, when you get to a campsite, if it's equipped with electric, you have a 30 amp cord that you'll be able to plug in to get that AC going and maybe any other your um, uh, kitchen uti uh, utilities inside if you need. Fresh water hookup, if you're at a campsite that you have water access, boom, this feeds that uh, sink inside to wash up some hands and some of those dirty dishes. And last but not least, a portable hookup for a solar panel to get some of that charge back into your battery, especially if you're boondocking campers. This way you can get out on a long weekend by yourself, with yourself, and not have to worry about, about any electricity. Inside the A-Liner Scout Light, we're scouting up some of those awesome features that comes with this camper. 
Got to start with the roof. It's got the fantastic fan that has three speeds, one, two, and three. You can either pull air out or pull air in. Definitely advise you to open up a window uh, somewhere, some way, so that way it gets a lot of um, better circulation to be able to push that air or, or pull that air through. But on a nice uh, spring day or fall day, man, this is your air conditioning by far. Ch uh, take my word for it. I've had a couple myself in my campers. But if you do have some high um, sunlight days, you have on both of the end windows has a uh, pull down nightshade that uh, the fabric shade. So that way you need to let, let light in and do some sightseeing from the inside or close it off and get some of your privacy. But moving up front, uh, here is your twin bed, if you will, or sofa, however you choose to, to, to utilize it. But it's definitely cozy, comfortable sitting here, maybe from playing some cards or just kind of doing some reading. But the storage is phenomenal up front. You have a couple ways to access it. You could either lift up the sofa cushion and your baseboard, or you could access it from the base cabinet doors that you can open up. Slide your camping gear in and out, or again, pull, pull it uh, or throw it, um, throw it back in from the top side opposite of the door is more counter space and more storage i've got a large surface here to do some meal prep in or better yet if i've got electric griddle i can throw out there especially if it's a light drizzle and i don't want to go outside cooking i've got ample space to to do some meal uh, prep and then of course all that storage below as well to keep all those items that you're going to take with you and if you remember from the outside we do have a water source so there's a sink that um, that way you can wash up hands or wash up uh, some some of those uh, dirty dishes and then moving up behind me we have a dinette that you can sit a couple people you can maybe even squeeze four people it just depends on how many sleep in or how many you want to invite along with you but again we have another window with uh, with a blind that gives us some uh, privacy or some shade uh, away from those bright sunny days but as I mentioned we can turn this table into a sleeping space if we're not going to use the sofa up front and it's pretty easy and follow with me first step is we're going to collapse the legs on the table and here you have a couple options. A-Liner has supplied um, a couple woods, I should say a few wood slats. So if your table is being utilized outside for maybe some extra area for, uh, for, camp, for your uh, campsite, you can use those as your bed supports. In this case, we're just gonna use the table because they've designed it so we can do that as well. We lay that on the uh, two pieces of trim that's inside the base of the dinette booth. Take your back cushions and fill in and now we have a nice second sleeping space and it's kind of hard to see from your angle but hey if I'm kind of relaxing chilling out getting ready for bed I also have USB um, charge ports here that I can hook up an iPhone or an iPad to do a little bit of um, relaxing and and kind of chilling out for the night last but not least Next to the door, we again, we have the air conditioner. We have another window that opens and closes if you like some fresh air. And storage and storage, more storage. So this camper has plenty of storage. You could sleep two to three, a lot of big windows so you can get some of that scenery in and some fresh air. What do you think? All right, there you have it. We've scouted out a simple way for you guys to go camping. The A-Liner Scout Light. Do you agree? Give us a thumbs up. Comment below if you've got any questions on anything that you saw today or maybe something that you would like to see more in depth. And don't forget, we love our love from our YouTubers. Smash that subscribe button. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We'll see you at the campsites. Mm -hmm.